Hello friends, myself Gaurav and uh, now I am gonna explain you about uh, chemical vapor deposition process. Okay. Chemical vapor deposition process is actually nothing but the substrate is exposed to one or more volatile precursors which react on the substrate surface to produce the desired deposit. That means this whole process is done on the surface of the workpiece with the so much small thickness okay slight negligible thickness so the types of cd process we can consider it that uh, atmospheric pressure low pressure and uh, plasma enhanced cd these are the main types of cd process so actually this diagram will explain you well about cd process in this the transport which include the some basic points that the transport reactants via the forced convection to reaction regions that means the reactants are get firstly transport to the surface of the workpiece okay then transport reactants by diffusion to the wafer surface that means on the workpiece okay then adsorb reactant on the surface the reaction on the react the on the surface then the reaction on the surface of the workpiece get takes place okay after that this surface processes chemical decomposition and the uh, surface migration it is takes place then desorption from the surface get takes place and these uh, gases get evolved and transport by product to the boundary layers so transport by product away from the deposition region so guys this figure will explain you very well about the chemical vapor deposition that's why i have included this figure in this so it shows the input flow rate of the gases which are going to react on the surface of the workpiece okay and film growth rate is in perpendicular direction to the workpiece surface okay so surface reaction takes place on workpiece and the film thickness of the surface will get increased as the reaction rate is increased and it depend upon time also to which this process is allowed to a uh, process okay and uh, after that uh, these are the some plasma methods okay plasma methods of plasma enhanced cvd and uh, remote plasma enhanced cvd in plasma enhanced cvd that it utilizes the plasma to enhance the chemical reaction of the precursors so plasma enhanced cvd processing allows the deposition at the lower temperatures remote plasma enhanced cvd is nothing but it is same as plasma enhanced but except that the substrate is not directly in plasma discharge region removing the substrate from the plasma region allows processing temperature down to the room temperatures after that we will go that this is the plasma enhanced cvd this diagram explain very well about cvd and in this uh, we can see that there are two electrodes and when electrode is generating plasma and another electrode is considering as a workpiece or the wafers on which on which surface the cvd process is going to take place and there are the, some gas inlet is provided for some gases which will be very well useful for deposition of the cvd process on the surface of the workpiece so guys now we are going to see the application of cvd process okay so for the application of cvd process the cvd diamond coated cemented carbide cutting tool so let's first we will see why diamond why diamond so it is having the hardness as twice as compared to cubic boron nitride and it is the four times harder than the titanium carbide highest thermal conductivity than any solid so that heat generated during operation will be easily dissipated so the cvd diamond deposition method is the high current dc arc process is used for the cvd diamond deposition method and the plasma density in the discharge column is very high so that the substrate can be placed at larger distance from the discharge column for the low plasma density so the plasma density can be changed by changing the position of the substrate 
If we put a substrate far away from each other, then the plasma density will reduce, and so the CVD process will get lower down, and the thickness of the deposition will alter. Okay. So the substrate are exposed to high flow of atomic hydrogen produced in the discharge column and heated mainly by hydrogen recombination on the surfaces. In in this setup, as you see. We are, we are, we can observe that in the gases H2 and CH methane or ethane, these gases are allowed to pass through this process because these are so much important for this process due to which the deposition, chemical vapor deposition is gonna take place. And this is, this is the principle of main reactor layout, okay. So that's why mm, this is all about uh, car uh, chemical vapor deposition. So it's all, guys. Lastly, I'm gonna say thank you and.